Levine and welcome to my reading corner. Today we're going to read another of the stories of good night stories for rebel girls. But I also know you've noticed that I'm only reading writers. So today I'm going to read all the writers from this book and I will move on to something else. So today we're going to read the Brought Sisters. They are writers. They're from the United Kingdom, Kingdom, just like Jane Austen. And here's my baby picture bookmark. I was a baby, so cute. Okay, doesn't smell that nice. So here's how they look. Let's put my baby picture down there. So let's get reading. In a cold, bleak house in the North England, there once lived three sisters. Charlotte, Emily, and Anne were often alone, and they wrote stories and poems to entertain themselves. You can do that too. You don't need to just keep running around saying, I'm bored, I'm bored. <laughs> that would look funny. One day, Charlotte decided to send her poems to a famous English poet to ask what he thought of them. His response was, I do not like your poems at all. Literally, it's a man's business, and that's not true. But mm, they believe what they believe. Charlotte kept on writing. One night, she found a notebook lying on Emily's desk. Why have you not shown, shown us our, your poems before? Charlotte asked. They're beautiful. Emily was furious. Furious means extremely mad. At her sister reading her private papers without her permission. But once Emily calmed down, Charlotte proposed, why don't we write a book of poetry together? Emily and Anne agreed. When they finally published the book, it only sold two copies. Wow. But they still did not give up. And they kept working in secret, discussing their writing at the dinner table. Yeah. Wonder what they have for dinner. <laughs> This time, they each worked on different novels. When the novels came out, they were hugely successful. People at that time could not believe that they had been written by three country girls. So the sisters had to travel to London to prove they were indeed the authors. Their books have been translated into many different languages and read by millions of people across the world. I hope you enjoyed reading. I hope you enjoyed reading with me and you can follow me tomorrow for another amazing story while we explore this amazing book with extraordinary women who did amazing things. So they also have a motto, they, okay, not her, they. And it says, I am not an angel and I will not be till I die. I will be myself. Hope you took some learning in that. And I also want you to read something for you. And it's right here. It's in, written in red. With Actually, the paper is red. And it's written in white. Don't know why they did that. Maybe it's very important. And it says, To the rebel girls of the world, dream bigger. Aim higher. Fight harder. And when in doubt, remember, you are right. Bye! Kwaheri! Khoda!